Well, it's exciting times for the David Thorne stable. Not only is David's team coming together very nicely, but he's also on the move. I caught up with David to have a chat about his stable runners and also this very important decision to move here to Club and Angle. Well, Dave, as I mentioned in the introduction, exciting times for the stable. A lot of nice horses, but also this important move from the property to Club and Angle. Yeah, that's right. We made the move last week, so um, still sort of getting settled in at the moment, but um, doesn't seem to have worried the horses too much. They're, they've sort of gone pretty good still. And the numbers are very promising. Yeah, no, we've got a few around us, so um, yeah, we're working about 14 at the moment, so um, yeah, just got to hope we get the nice ones. One of those nice ones, David, is heaven on high. Certainly not disgraced in finishing third behind Tapio tonight. No, it was a really good run tonight. I, I thought from the draw it would be really hard. Didn't look a lot of speed there. They ran a little bit, but... Um, couldn't get a card into the race either, so no, he was the only one that come from off the track and, and, and made ground late, so I was really happy with him. David, very impressive in his previous two wins, and the pleasing factor would be that he's showing versatility in his races. Yeah, for sure. He's a pretty well all-round horse. You know, he's led and won, he's come from last and won. He sat parked here going 51, just getting beat one night, so he, he's a very versatile horse, and I think that'll, you know, go a long way for him. He'll, he'll be such a good money spinner. And David, with all the big guns now heading to Queensland for the carnival, time to test the water with him? Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's he probably can win another one in the 95, then he'll be probably nearly in the free for all class. So, as I said, with all, Luke's took all his good ones up and, and Grimo's going on tomorrow. So, um, the free for all ranks will be a lot, lot weaker. So, they're still obviously hard to win. But, yeah, it'll be a good test for him. If he can measure up in the free for all in that grade, then um, you sort of know where you stand. Dave, the move from property life to here at Club and Angle up in the retention area, how does that play on a horse's mind? Yeah, they, they get used to, a, you know, a, a system. Um, you know, obviously, as used to all go out in the paddocks all day, and there's just not as many paddocks up at the training centre because there's so many horses, but um, they, they get out every second day. So, But there's benefits to being up there. We've got walkers, which we never had. So the ones that don't get out in the paddock go of a walker of an afternoon, so stretch their legs and that. So, yeah, you just got to get them in a system, and, you know, um, it doesn't seem to worry their performance, you know, and they, and they seem happy enough. One of the forgotten stars here at Club and Angle seems to be Antonia. How is she coming along? Yeah, really good. Um, she's had about nine months off. She just had a few little niggling issues. So we, we sort of, they said to give her six months off, which she'd already had three. So um, she, but she's very sound, which is all I'm worried about at the moment. You know, um, we brought her back after three months and she was still a little bit funny. So we did a bit more digging and, and found what was wrong with her. But um, she seems very sound and she's probably been fast working for two or three weeks. So... Um, I'm really happy that she's sound. Everything else is relevant. If she stays sound, she'll go good. Yeah, 25 starts, 14 wins and seven placings. It will be exciting to get her back. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's you know She's been away a long time. So, yeah, she's probably still another couple of months off the races. But, yeah, we'll be just happy to get her back. Yeah, another very promising two-year-old filly, Everart. Yeah, she's done good. I think she's pretty nice filly, very big filly. Um, she actually comes back into work Monday. She had three weeks off and uh, she qualified for the triad final. So... That's in about 11 weeks, so um, we're going to get it back Monday and start working and, and set it for that. You said you're building the team to around about that 14. Any interesting newcomers? Um, there's a few around. Actually, Sicario's coming after tonight. He's Grimo's sort of said he'd be better left here, so um, he, he's a nice old horse. He's a bit the same as Heaven on High with the good ones going away. He'll, he'll be competitive in that free-for-all rank, so, um, yeah, he's there. And I've got a lot of young ones, so um, we don't really know whether they're any good yet, but they're sort of broken in really good in that so um yeah no happy with them yeah, it sounds like you got a nice balance across the board yeah for sure we've, we have we've got a lot of low grade horses we've got a lot of young ones and, and we've got a few free for all like fast class horses so yeah it's a good mix outstanding training performance last week with the extra shot getting in her home can she back up on tuesday with another win yeah, she's drawn a bit worse this week. She had a good trip, but, um, yeah, she, she went a lot better last week. I wasn't really happy with the trials, so um, I, I had a really big opinion of her early on. She just never went as good as what I thought, so she's a really big filly, so we give her plenty of time as well, so hopefully we can reap the rewards for that. Over to race five, and everybody love Ray. Just keeps going around and running an honest race. Yeah, that's right. He, he's been a little bit off the last few weeks, but I, I'm expecting he might improve a little bit uh, on this Tuesday. So he doesn't win very often, but he's usually in the money. Well, Dave, exciting times, as we've mentioned, as far as the stable is concerned. Good luck. Thanks very much.